So, we got crack again. Um, maybe not the ship. So he goes first, which is good. He's gonna get out the great sword. Hmm, seems doable. I need to double check that. That doesn't look like a great sword to me. What's happening, guys? Did the game finally break? Is it time to see something else but great swords? Are we gonna see Iris companions? I think it's Troop Skellige. I could be. Good point. The Troop. Great. I like that. Oh, this is like. Come here. Come get a heart Sure. Hmm. Does it matter? How we go about this? I suppose it does. We know the mysteries of time and space, all of them. I saw this uh, play once, and it was shoot. It's just so uh, unusual to see it. Oh, we're gonna have a no. We're not gonna have a sweet scorch actually, because uh, we have a Nudaric on the board. So. I can go ship. Maybe we're gonna throw in Iris and just call it a day after that. I can do a great or not. Deal So this is strengthened. Iris Companions strengthened. You wanna play it? We know the mysteries of time and space, all of them. Okay, so we managed to take it. If he plays a big shoot, we can burn it. Not bad. Pretty good. A lot of burns. Pass. So we can go Carantir, Roach, Azrael, Frightlander. So many him. things. He probably has him. Him is a must have. What can he achieve with him? That's good. I'll take it. Play an Osrael. Well, he doesn't have Frighteners, so it's gotta be Osrael, Iris. I don't have a guaranteed access to Osrael right now. Out with the crowns. Come on, quick now. Okay, that's gonna be a decent Scorch target. So, do we wanna take out anything from his graveyard? That's a 12. Uh, that would be good with Iris, but that's no longer relevant. If resurrected, deal 6 damage instead. <gasps> this is good, I suppose. A little bit above average, that's 13. Or Iris Companions is probably not gonna be good enough. Maybe we can hold off. Should I go and play a rider? I just play a rider in the front. Any last words? That's fine for now. Play Scorch now? Oh, we can. More hawk We don't have to. So this is an 18. I want to play Iris. I want to put enough guys on the board. 
So it makes sense. Naivety is a fool's person. Yeah, we don't want Frightener. They're gonna play next to the ship. That is your no, is that truly? Okay. Well, at this point, we have to play I am Iris sentence. in an odd way. Then we're gonna villain, then we're gonna do a lot of other things. There's also still the bug. Enforcers which you put back in the deck still trigger once for every emissary played this round, like all the enforcer did. We serve huh. her who is virgin, mother and crone. Is gonna rest the dude for damage? Sure. So it seems like we can kill Iris. Do we want to? Actually, I want to play Will and Tritzenberg right now. Oh, we probably should play an Ancrate Valor. Shoot time? It's possible that he can kill it with the Hunter. Okay. Uh, so we can play a Drowner. That kills it. We don't have to though. It's actually better to go with Harpooner. And we're gonna scorch last, obviously. 215 damage. Yeah, it's sad. If if they just fix this bug, it would not be that weak for five months. Wanna look over our stock? Oh look at that. Um To be fair, we don't really need to wait. In case he has some kind of counter, we probably should just scorch right now. Well, respect Just to this crack. Alright, pretty good. GG. Any other you leaders in the game than Croc? I s seriously start to doubt it, guys. The amount of cracks I see is. As a bit above average. Adam, so naughty making me blush. Was the same deck I was using to get the faction challenge border? It seems like a fun deck. Like if you wanna... Well, first people are just gonna take your like a soulless greatsword guy. But once they get to know you better... Uh, yeah, I guess it, it can be a, a, a fun game. How do we go about this? Now you will force to play. Next meta report. Crack. 50% play rate. I think they just need to show some love to Noram and Squirtle. And probably nerf Kuzers to one or two. Yeah, uh, the thing is, Leofgaard has ways to beat Greatsword. You have Vicovaros, you have a Seer to shuffle them back. Uh, you even have the double lock. If you commit to that. Monsters have less options. Uh, you have uh, 
Azrael to eat the Great Sword, and you have Caretaker to take out the Great Sword. These are the main options I can think of. But other factions, I, I think Squirtel probably comes third uh, when it comes to beating the Great Sword by just spamming Jades and Scorches. But no realm, it's not really packing defend, anything, as far as I can no tell. Insult. That really screams, this is how you beat Great Swords. How do you be beat Great Swords as no realm? Hey Adam, how's it going? Haven't played for ages? Hey, Angelo. I would just recommend playing whatever is fun to you. Because everyone is a great sword. Crack is taking over the streets. Okay, Peter Snows. And sword can beat great swords. To beat them as no ram, lots of thunders. I don't think that's gonna do it. Does it do it? I don't think so. Maybe play a ship? Like, playing this guy is clearly pointless. Like, yeah! I'm helping the Greatsword. I noticed that everyone is Greatsword. Damn, I miss Old Vent before OBT. Open beta. Or... What is OBT supposed to be? You're kinda confusing me with the T. So we can scorch him. But we should probably save the scorch for later. If you play ship in melee, you can scorch two nine points. Maybe we're gonna need a juicier target than that this time around. Squirtle hand buffs, Swordmaster is great against this deck. But you also need a deck that's not only good against great swords, but also not completely useless against others, so. Even though it might seem at times that you only go up against great swords. But close beta had ambush Squirtle, and that was horrible. Like at this point, I'm not really building an anti greatsword deck, but mainly using an Aerodin deck that attacks against greatswords uh, to a sufficient degree that we can actually beat them reliably. So we have a 22 point scorch now, which is interesting. Play a rider. Uh, moving would be nice. So, maybe it's too soon for villain, but but Let's play Iris. I just don't really like this. Even if it was made uh, very immune, I think even that would be good. Like, the crazy part is, if the Greatsword was very immune, it would be a weaker card. I feel like he didn't play Close Beta or remembers it wrong. Close Beta was not great. 
Uh, close beta was an exciting time. I think uh, we had uh, a lot of interesting things. At the end of the close beta, the end of the close beta sucked. The, the last two or three months, I believe, sucked in the close beta, most of all. Most likely because uh, they didn't really change the game too much. They were preparing for the open beta. But before that, it was actually a very exciting time and they were making changes constantly. And uh, Although they definitely dealt with balance issues, I, I, I found it pretty fun, personally. Uh, you remember your deck? Okay, I can't read it right now. Oh, he just played a spy. That is annoying. I think I just need to slam down villain here. <clears throat> you remember your deck with Calve that used Operator on Cantarella and then decoy Cantarella and then get them all back with Calve? It was one of my favorite decks when I just got introduced to Gwent. Well, that was uh, actually a rather difficult deck to play. I love that deck. To this day, I would say that is my favorite deck, easily. That was so different, and I was really looking forward to such a unique ways to play the game. But they kind of went in the other direction. Uh, instead of uh, making card advantage more common, like it was in that deck, and balancing the game based on that, or you can just like gain card advantage, whatever. Uh, they kind of made spies more of an issue. Anyway, I guess I'm gonna play a navigator and a Drakkar. We know the mysteries of time and I was definitely bummed that they removed that deck. That was a really fun archetype. If anything, that was the most fun archetype. If you could ex execute your game plan and winning win condition, you had much more chance to win. I was all about shutting down enemies' win condition. Now one card advantage decide everything most of the times. Because in Gwent, uh, compared to many other card games, the card quality is is not that different. Let's look at the best card, best single card in the game is Shoop. Shoop, let's just say you can drop it for 25 points. Let's just not look at the worst card in the game, but let's look at the, I don't know, even a base bronze. Even a base bronze, you can drop down, like half elf hunter, you can drop down for 12 points. Like an ideal bronze, like that you combo, at, you probably expect 13 or 14 points. In other card games, you can just have a, like a... A 10 mana card that's like 10 times as good as the 1 mana card or maybe like 20 times as good as the 1 mana card because once you are at 10 mana that card really need to hit hard uh, because uh, that card was unplayable before. Frightener would be nice. But let's just go with the drug car for now. I remember that I got a rank 15 with your Siege Monster deck. That was a really cool one. Yeah, the... The close beta had a lot of... Uh, a lot of opportunity. Uh, gave a lot of opportunity for players to... Explore decks and make new ones. At the time, maybe not a lot of people played the game or they weren't as good at it, me included. But still, I just felt like you had more room to make uh, different decks. So, of course, this is uh, uh, nothing uh, unusual. Games get more figured out as uh, over time, as more players play them. With your Synergy Phoenix, may actually be the best gold in the game. 
Before Winter Update, the game was still playable, but after that, it became just point slam and it's kind of boring. Game got very shallow over time. So, do we Scorch? Uh, if we get a Frightener, it's awesome. If you get an Osro, eh. Monster Nest, meh. Like, to be fair, the Karen tier is. Is possibly playable? And he already has, like, a bunch of big dudes. I just, we just don't know what we're gonna get. If it's Frightener, I should definitely get on board with that. Come on! I really hope it's not gonna be a Frightener. Even a Frightener wouldn't be necessarily terrible, but getting a Nazra would be ideal. Yeah, we don't want that. Oh, we can get so unlucky. So, we can take out the biggest greatsword. I, we, I think we kind of have to. That's gonna make the Scorch a little bit awkward. But perhaps he's gonna take out the Bow second biggest Mordren one. Freya. Then start buffing it, then we Scorch it. Uh, we can also eat that guy. That's 19. If we get it. Uh, wait, the Ozreal can get it. Pretty good. What do we do here? I can get out the rider, and then we can get out another rider. Modern Freyr is patient, but she brooks no insult. Are we gonna make our scorch bad? Naivety is a fool's blessing. So that's an eighteen. I think it's possible that he's gonna play a Jenga on them. A little bit screwing with himself. New faction is Dryads. Zerkania. I can do a great deal more for you. So this is 13 if he played with the rider, and that seems like the way to go. Unfortunately. Now as he plays something big, we're just completely screwed. I don't think he's gonna do it right now. We didn't have the Frightener. Not much left. That no, we just screwed. Not completely, though. You have my thanks. That was the winning move, apparently. Come on, don't sell that army. The damn it line. We have to say it. We got him. Woo! It was all planned, guys. GG.